Using photographs from the 2017 total solar eclipse in Madras, Oregon, here's a visualization of the transition between the partial phases, the diamond ring effect, Bailey's beads, and totality. To simplify the process, the same exposure can be used with the solar filter on, then with the filter off for the diamond ring and Bailey's beads. The exposure must then be increased to record the corona. The camera settings I used with the filter on were ISO 400, 1 500th of a second at f11. I used a 1000 Ops optical solar light film. This is my starting exposure. Your starting exposure may be different. I set the remote control intervalometer to take a picture every minute. With a 600 millimeter lens on a full frame Nikon camera, I shot about seven frames before adjusting the tripod gear head and moving the sun back to the upper right corner. When the sun reaches a super thin crescent, I removed the solar filter. I removed filters from this telephoto lens and a wide angle lens on a separate camera tripod setup and prepared to shoot the transition. Keeping the exposure setting the same as I used with the filter on, I used the trigger button on the remote to shoot a burst of photos, one to two frames every second. You can see the diamond ring getting smaller frame by frame. Some of the corona is visible around the perimeter of the sun and moon and prominences are easily seen. At second contact, I then set the camera on bracket mode and changed the shutter to 1 30th of a second, the middle setting for the plus or minus 4 f-stop bracket. This is an automated way to increase overall exposure to get the corona. Here's a 9-stop sequence. You see more and more of the corona being recorded as the shutter speed increases. I did this sequence of nine frames five times during totality, adjusting a geared head on my tripod manually to try and keep the sun centered. You can also select one slow shutter speed, like 1 15th or 1 8th of a second, as seen in this example, for a single frame of the corona. I then turned the bracket mode off, changed the shutter speed back to 1 500th of a second, my starting shutter speed. I could shoot Bailey's beads and the diamond ring effect near third contact this way. As the diamond ring effect gets bigger, I put the filter back on and continue shooting the partial phases at my starting exposure setting. In this example, I made two camera settings together a shutter speed change and selecting bracket mode just after second contact, then a shutter speed change and deselecting bracket mode just before third contact. Minimizing the changes to camera settings will simplify your process, allowing more time to view the eclipse and make the experience more enjoyable. Since the corona may be large during this eclipse, I recommend a maximum focal length of 500 to 550 millimeters on a full frame camera.